Hey friends, welcome to Quest for Tech. Before we get started, do us a huge favor and like the video and subscribe to the channel for more tech news, reviews, and so much more, and for your chance to win some really cool tech. So let's jump right in. Today we're checking out the Galaxy Buds 2, and we wanna see if Samsung's brand new buds are worth the $150 price. The color I have is So let's jump right in and check out the setup process and see how these buds sound. So here we have the Z Flip 3, which if you guys haven't had a chance, do us a favor and check out our full review on this really, really cool phone. So one thing I love about the pairing process, especially if you have one of the Galaxy phones, all you have to do is open up your case and it automatically pops up on your phone that a new device has been detected. You just hit connect and right there it automatically pairs your phone. So you'll have to download the Galaxy wearable app And just like that, you're all set. All right, so now we're in the main menu for your Galaxy Buds 2. Of course, there's always gonna be an update. And then right here, we're back at the main menu for your Buds 2. You'll see at the top, you'll have your left and right earbud. It'll tell you the battery life for your left side and your right side, and then also for the case. So if you run out of battery, just put in the Buds in the case, back in the case for five minutes, is gonna get you an hour of playtime just from putting them in the case. If you charge them for 10 minutes in the case, you'll get up to 150 minutes of playtime from a 10 minute charge. So this case is awesome. Charges them really, really fast. It also has wireless charging. There we go. So we'll go ahead and check out the tips to learn more that the buds can do. So it's just telling you here how you can wear your buds. Make sure that you put left with left and right with right. Insert it into the ear like so, and then I'll have you do a test fit. So let me go ahead and do that really quick. So if you don't put the buds in correctly, it'll definitely tell you that you have a poor fit. Have you take it out and retry. So for the controls, you basically tap once to play the song. You double tap to play the next track or to answer the call. So once to play the song, twice to answer the call, three times to do a previous track, and then you touch and hold to decline the call or whatever your user's choice is. And we'll show you how to set that up. So right here in this menu, you can choose what every tap or hold does. So next we can add the widget to the home screen to see our Bud's battery status and to set noise controls right from the home screen. And that's what the widget is going to look like on your home screen for active noise cancellation and touch controls. So we'll go ahead and add that. All right, so that's our touch controls. Again, you have your noise cancellation. Right now it's off. We can turn it on once I put the earbuds back in. And then we can even turn the ambient sound on. Going here to that menu, this is going to show you what wearables you have connected to your phone. So right now I just have the Buds 2. Pretty soon I'll connect my Galaxy Watch, that'll be on there. If you have any other earbuds, those will pop up as well. So it gives you a quick, easy way to switch through them. So looking at your earbud settings, you got your equalizer where you can choose normal, bass boost, soft, dynamic, clear, or triple boost. This is where you can have the buds read your notifications out loud. Bixby voice wake up, Samsung is still using Bixby, so I'll turn it on. So this is where you can teach Bixby your voice and set the side key to wake Bixby or set seamless wake up. Speak seamlessly, you can turn that on and off where you can say the command you want right away without waiting for sound feedback. So I'll turn that on. Then right here, we can do the earbud fit test, which we already did to set it up. So here's the experimental features that Samsung has. Probably a good idea to check this like maybe every month or so. This is where they add new features to the buds. And right now this is where you'll find gaming mode at. This is where you'll reset your buds. If you need to repair them to another phone or sell your phone and want to delete them. This is your accessibility menu where you can do active noise cancellation with one earbud and you can change the left and right sound balance. There's your earbud software update. And this is your about earbud section.
And then right here is pretty cool. This is where you can find your earbud. If you hit navigate, it will actually take you right to where the earbuds are. And then you can hit ring to play a sound when they're close to you. So that's pretty cool. Nice feature so you don't have to worry so much about losing your earbuds. So I'm gonna do a quick sound test and unfortunately, you really don't know how these sound until you hear them yourself, but I'll test them out a minute and I'll let you know what I think. Ambient sound is definitely, um, Pretty good. I just took and just snapped my fingers and then snapped them close once I turned the ambient sound on to see if I could hear. And I could a little bit, so I'm sure if someone was actually talking to me right now, <laughs> it probably would work. Um, the active noise cancellation is definitely good because I have the TV on or turned the TV on and couldn't hear it. As far as the sound so far, it sounds really good as far as the bass. Definitely not as loud as the Buds Pro. Louder than the Buds Live. They sound pretty clear, but I would say that they're, yeah, they're not as loud as the Pros. All right, so you definitely notice a huge difference when shifting through the equalizer settings. Bass boost definitely gives you a huge bass boost. You can definitely hear it. Clear, I didn't really notice that sounding any more or less clear. Soft is soft. Triple boost, nice triple, but dynamic is definitely where it's at. I think that gave you a nice mix of bass and triple, and it just sound like, wow. I probably would have turned it down in my ear like if I was listening to it for a long period of time. Definitely think these are pretty good sounding earbuds, especially for 149. Definitely worth that price for sure. Compared to the Buds Pro, if you want something that sounds closer to like the AirPods Pro or Plus, whatever those ones are, I'd say the Buds Pro would be something you'd wanna look at. And then obviously the Buds Live, you would really have to see how this feels in your ear. Me personally, I prefer this design. I think it fits in the ear a lot, a little bit better. I think this fits in the ear a little bit better than this. But otherwise, I think the Galaxy Buds 2 are definitely a worthy upgrade from the original Galaxy Buds and the Galaxy Buds Plus. And at 149, they're a good price. All right, so thanks friends for questing with us today. We really appreciate you. Do us a huge favor and like the video and subscribe to the channel for more tech news reviews and so much more. It's absolutely free for you to subscribe and it means so much to us. And join the channel for more contests, giveaways, and fun. Yeah. Everyone have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and never stop questing. Peace.